Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the piecewise function. As a simple definition for the piecewise function, we can say that piecewise function is the combination of different functions existing in mathematics. So, ang target natin dito ngayon sa video natin is to evaluate functions. Kasi mayroon pa tayo next video wherein ang focus naman natin is on how to graph a piecewise function. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So again, our target today, our topic today is evaluating piecewise function. And we are given the direction, evaluate each piecewise function for f of negative 2 and f of 5. We are given here two different piecewise functions. This is the first one and this is the second one. Wherein you can read this kind of piecewise function as f of x is negative 5 if x is less than or equal to 0 for if x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 3 12 if x is greater than 0 So, basahin na natin yung next natin piecewise function f of x is equal to or is 3x plus 4 if x is less than 5 x squared minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 5. So as you can see guys, sa bawat given natin, in number 1, we are given 3 functions. In number 2, we are given 2 different functions. Wherein, medyo malilito kayo at the first glance, pero don't worry, I will guide you throughout this topic on how to evaluate piecewise function. Now let's start with letter A. Again, Letter A is f of x is equal to negative 5 if x is less than or equal to 0. 4. If x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 3. 12. If x is greater than 3. Pero before natin puntahan yan, puntahan mo natin pinapa-evaluate sa atin. Whereas to evaluate f of negative 2 and f of 5. Guys, in this case, ang ibig sabihin nito, if you have encountered this kind of given, f of negative 2, ang ibig sabihin niya that your x is negative 2. Dito naman, your x is equal to 5. Sila yung magiging inputs mo sa mismong function, or in other words, uh, you will use them to replace the variable x, if ever na merong variable x. Now, let's have this one. And sir, paano po ito? Uh, lahat po ba, if we have f of negative 2, we will evaluate all these functions? Actually guys, uh, in this piecewise function, we have three different functions. Ito yung una, pangalawa, at pangatlo. Pero hindi yan lahat sabay-sabay, or hindi yan lahat kailangan evaluate. It depends on the given condition. Now, explain ko lang ha, to make it, ano, uh, to make, uh, for you to go deeper about this topic. Dito, you can use negative 5 if x is less than or equal to 0. Kapag daw yung value ng input mo or x mo ay equal kay 0 at mas mababa kay 0. Next, you will use this function if your x is greater than 0 pero less than or equal to 3. Next, you will use this function if your x is greater than 3. Now, let's start. In, x, in f of negative 2, your x is equal to negative 2. Now, isipin natin, saan siya pasok dito sa criteria na to? Sa criteria na to? Saan siya pasok dito? So, x is negative 2. Okay, number 1, pasok siya dito. You can use this function. Because, negative 2 is less than or equal to 0. Right? Negative 2 is less than or equal to 0. How about this one? Sabi dito, x is greater than, o balita ng base dyan, greater than 0, but less than or equal to 3. Hindi pwede. So, hindi siya pwede gamitin dito. Next, x is greater than 3. Hindi rin pwede. 
So, pwede natin gamitin dito ay yung unang function. And since wala tayong variable, guys, magkaiba to ah. May, dito meron tayong variable, but this, uh, this one is different. Kasi constant lang ang meron tayo. If that is the case, we can use this one. Ang magkisagot lang natin, no more calculation, we can say that f of negative 2 is equal to negative 5. Ito lang mismo yung sagot natin, guys. Ito lang mismo sagot natin for evaluating f of negative 2. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Next, so let me erase this. We have the second uh, given, f of negative 5. Ang ibig sabihin nito, your x is equal to 5. Check natin. If x is equal to 5 and satisfy this criteria, we have here x is less than or equal to 0, so hindi pwede ito. x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 3, hindi rin pwede ito because hindi siya pasok sa range ng values ng x natin. How about this one? x is greater than 3. Yes, we can use this function because 5 is greater than 3. Alam naman natin, di ba? 5 is greater than 3. Alam natin, 5 is greater than 3. So, pasok siya dito. Okay? So, to evaluate that, ang labing mo lang naman, since walang variable to, all you need to do is f of 5 is equal to, kunin mo to, 12. This is the answer for letter A. Your f of negative 2 is fa negative 5. Your f of 5 is simply equal to 12. Now, medyo tricky kasi, kita, kasi to guys. Kasi may mga klase ng piecewise function na isa lang yung ganito. Pero ito, pinakita ko sa inyo yung kabuhay. Okay? So let's move on with a piecewise function wherein meron na tayong variable x. Now, we have here f of x is equal to 3x plus 4 if x is less than 5. x squared minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 5. And we are asked to evaluate f of negative 2 and f of 5. Again, ang ibig sabihin nito, your x is equal to negative 2. Here, your x is equal to 5. Now, let's start with this one. Your x is equal to negative 2. Isipin natin yung buti, ha? Sabi sa first function natin, 3x plus 4, if x, use this, use this, if your x is less than 5. Ang negative 2 ba ay less than 5? Yes, negative 2 is less than 5. So we can use this function. How about the second function? If x is greater than or equal to 5, hindi. Okay, hindi niya kayang satisfy. So, hindi pwede ito yung palawang function. So, let us use this one. We have f of negative 2 is equal to 3x plus 4. We will replace x by negative 2. So, it will become 3 times negative 2 plus 4. 3 times negative 2, guys, is negative 6 plus 4, your f of negative 2 is simply equal to negative 2. This is the answer for the first one. Ito yung sagot natin sa pinakauna. Okay? Now let's move on with this one. Your x is equal to 5. Buray ko lang to. Hindi siya pwede dito. Sabi kasi dito, dapat daw yung x lang is less than 5. Dito pwede ba? X is greater than or equal to 5? Yes. Okay, pasok siya dito. So we will use the second function. We have F of 5 is equal to X squared minus 3. So since our X is equal to 5, we will replace this variable by 5. So it will become 5 squared minus 3. And simplifying 5 squared, that is simply 5 times 5. So it will give you 25 minus 3. So all in all, guys, your f of your f of 5 is simply equal to 22. This is the correct answer for letter B. 
Now, for second piecewise function, your f of negative 2 is negative, equal to negative 2. Your f of 5 is equal to 22. So, I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to evaluate piecewise function. Guys, simply lang yan. Even though hindi ko makuha yung exact given na meron sa mga ginagawa nyo, as long as alam niyo yung process at mismong konsepto on how to evaluate function, you can definitely pass through that kind of problem. So again guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gord. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!